Hello and welcome our blog viewers to RTD's News English Edition. As usual, we'll begin tonight's news with the major and top highlights. Let's follow. The FDH threatens the technical capabilities of its coaches. Handball. And in the international scene, reception of migrants, SOS Mediterranean launched an appeal to all Europeans. Those were our major top highlights. Welcome back to our newsroom, our blood viewers. Saturday, under the leadership of the Ministry of Youth and Culture, in partnership with the Coast Guard, more than 100 girls from the 13 CDCs of the capital have benefited from a discovery trip to the beach of Duda, especially organized for women. The event was attended by the Ministry of Youth and Culture, Dr. Hibum Umin Asawi, the Vice President of the Regional Council of Arta, Senior Staff of the MJC, several lifeguards of the Coast Guard, as well as officials of CDC. From the morning, Dr. Hibo was keen to pass to kick off a patria of activities such as volleyball, cleaning the beach, and awareness sessions, an exhibition placed under the theme of environmental preservation and cultural heritage. Beyond the activities in which the girls participated, the outing created a climate of knowledge and friendship between the beneficiaries. Moreover, this fun and educational outing was also an opportunity to discover the fruits and festivals of the agricultural locality of Duda, as well as the ancestral pastoral life during the musical activities. A young, talented girl of 12 years old with a golden voice created the surprise by interpreting musical songs. Let's follow. The chairman of the Ports and Free Zones Authority, Mr. Obakar Umar Hadi, is pleased to welcome today the ambassador of the United Kingdom to Djibouti, Mrs. Joe McPhail. Uh, Mr. Umar Hadi and Ms. McPhail discussed the various projects of the APZFD, such as the wind power project to go bed with sea power, with a capacity of 60 megawatts, the importance of the road corridor linking Djibouti to the border countries, and the various operations made available by DPCR, which is also known as Djibouti Ports and Corridor Routes, for the routing of goods to the country of destination, as well as the security of the transport. Also discussed the project of the pipeline that will connect South Sudan to Djibouti through the Ogedan region in Ethiopia for potential companies interested in the natural gas sector in Africa. They presented to the chairman of the Ports and Freezons Authority a proposal for a postgraduate scholarship 100% funded by the British government to enable employees of the PRZDA to develop their skills and thus benefit in the company. After seven days of intensive courses of theory and practice, the Handball Federation has just closed this Saturday training course for about 30 coaches. The closing ceremony was sponsored by the president of the FDH, Mr. Ahmed Mohamed Tahir, and this is in the presence of the director of sports at the SES, Mr. Abshir Hassan, the secretary general of the Soccer Federation, Mr. Yusuf Ahmed, and the secretary general of the National Olympic Committee, Mr. Faisal Abdurrahman. The work of this course, which ended with the obtaining of the D license for trainees, was launched by a uh, French expert, Mr. Guy, and by technical director of the federation, Mr. Riyad Ahmed Yunus, speaking on this occasion, the president of the FDH thanked the experts for sharing this knowledge and expertise with Djiburian coaches. Absolutely priority for the handful federation because it is by having qualified human potentials that we can develop the national handful. Today you have obtained the D license, but the most important thing is to put it into the achievements of this training. He also took the opportunity to remind the coaches that their role is crucial to make their respective teams perform well, but also contribute to the development of handball. Also, as part of the visit to Morocco, the mayor of the city of Djibouti, Mr. Saeed Daoud Mohamed, proceeded to the joint signing of a protocol agreement with the president of the municipal leader of Rabat, Asama. It is a protocol that relates to the development of the neighborhood, Sheikh Musa, as part of the overall development program of the territorial community of Djibouti. This project is part of the urban development, the enhancement of heritage bearing public spaces. This project aims to enhance and preserve the national heritage in all its forms of expression and to protect it for the benefits of future generations. This signing ceremony was held in the presence of more than 30 African mayors who took part in the 21st annual conference of the International Association of Schools Institutes of Administration. To the City of Unity, which hosted a beautiful intellectual competition between young people with a passion for religion and theological knowledge. 
coming from all localities of the region. Organized at the native of Karma Karin and its president, Mr. Abdullah Musa Utpan, the great religious competition has opposed young people passionate and integrated in the region and took place in beautiful atmosphere under the benevolence and applause of adults. We also know that the, the presence of the notable of many representatives of public institutions, such as Mr. Ibrahim Goro Abdullah, Vice President of the Regional Council, Mr. Fuad Umar Obakar, Representative of the Prefecture, Mr. Dahir Jam Adan of the Department of Waqf, Mr. Usman Abdullah Ahmed, Representative, and as well as the many who came in large numbers to attend this ceremony. The questions and answers to the number of 36 were carefully prepared by handy-picked experts in Arabic under the supervision of the educational advisor of the Arabic department, Mr. Muhammad Ali Utban. The winners of the competition each received awards with the congratulations of the juries. The first winner was rewarded with a gift in a nice sum of money. The second winner was rewarded with a gift in two-thirds of this sum. The third winner was rewarded with the same gift and one-third in this sum. At the end of the competition, a sketch on the awareness of young people on the benefits of this religion was held. A fire broke out uh, yesterday night in the morning, the sub-prefect in the district one. The sub-prefect of the first district, Mr. Abdi Hassan, the vice president of the community of Bil'oz, Abdul Qadir Iman, went to the scene of the incident. Two houses were burned. The president of the community of Bil'oz and the prefect of the first district explained that the government is still with the victims of the fire to provide them with the necessary aid. Tragic accident in Bali yesterday afternoon in the region of Tajura, three victims and several injured. The car had left Balhu in the direction of Tajura with eight passengers on board. Arrived at the level of Bali near the Dora a few kilometers from Randa, it made several rollovers. We deplore many victims, including three dead. There were three young people, one of whom died on the spot in Bali itself and two others during the evacuation. After the first aid at the CMH of Tajura, the injured, some of them serious, were transported by sea to hospitals of the capital during the night with the support of the Coast Guard. The RTD associates itself with the pain of the bereaved families and presents its sincere condolence while praying that Allah welcome them in, their, in his internal paradise. Amen. The gendarmes of Ali Sabih Brigade, in collaboration with the customs officers, intercepted in the sector Grand Barra a Prado vehicle belonging to a central trader. During a true search of a vehicle, it was discovered that it was carrying a large quantity of a smuggled cut. Uh, the perpetrators of this act, lot sued by the gendarmes of Ali Sabih and custom officers, intended to sell this counterpart in the markets of Djibouti city. As for the vehicle used to transport the Qat merchandise, it is implied that the Ali Sabih Brigade, the driver of the vehicle in question, is on the run. A wanted notice has been issued against him. Faced with this act, uh, contrary to the law in force which poses the economy of the country, the high command of the gendarmerie warns anyone who ventures to introduce illegal goods into the national territory. It is with great sadness that we learn the death of the late Nima Idli Hassan, born on March 28, 1948, and, the, and uh, respected and loved by all. The deceased leaves behind four children, including the ambassador of Djibouti in India, Mr. Isa Abdullah Asoui, and 11 grandchildren. Sharing the pain of the family of the late Nima Idli Hassan, the Ministry of Communication addresses his condolence to all the family of the deceased. We pray to Allah the Most High to grant her the right. To leave the country, we pray to Allah the Most High, the Most Merciful, to grant her forgiveness and to welcome her in His internal paradise. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Shifting gears towards the international scene, now some 1,046 people uh, rescued at sea this week are desperately seeking refuge in European port. An NGO supporting exiled people announced on Saturday in a press release and in a series of publications shared on social networks, SOS Mediterranean appealed to European authorities to welcome these people in difficulty rescued in the Mediterranean Sea by the ship's Oaken. Ocean Viking and Geo Barents between July 24th and 28th. They include 300 minors, including several babies under a year old, as well as a pregnant woman. Well, by this our blog viewers, we conclude this edition. Thank you for being with us, and make sure to tune in later for more. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you once again. Take care.